if you build it, he will come. Our drive today it's gonna to be a cold blustery day where are we heading out to Bob Dwyersville Iowa it is out in the middle of nowhere we actually thought maybe we were going to the wrong location now we're not gonna tell you where we're going yet but we are gonna share that we are in Iowa yep. and you've got some amazing iconic farmland to view we make up. Head us world. Sorry about this guys. The wind was super strong. We should have just stayed in one place and you could have heard us completely the whole way. But we're going to do a little bit of a voiceover. We want our subscribers to guess where we are. And we're going to do it through quote. First quote is, is it heaven? No, it's Iowa. Bum, 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 bum. I don't think they're getting it, Bob. I don't know. I think I think they got their thinking caps on. What's the what's another hint? Let's give them one more. Okay. If they build it, he will come. Ooh, that should do it. I think everybody's got it now. Come on, all you movie buffs, you have to know <laughs> this one. We're at the movie set of Field of Dreams. Yep. Awesome movie with Kevin Costner. And everyone should watch it. Chasing 70 degrees, we're trying to get to 50. Yep. Still not even chasing that, being successful. <laughs> so to get in, it's a free will offering. It's 20 bucks if you want. Which is, ties in, of course, to the movie. But we're gonna see if we can get into the house because it's a little chilly out here. Yeah, they're gonna give a little uh, 20 minute tour. So yep. we're looking forward to that. And find out some insights. We're Bob and Barb. We've lived by the rules all of our lives. But in 2020, we threw that rule book out the window. We sold our home and moved full time into an RV with our cat Amelia. And from now on, we will be living life our way. Don't you want to come travel in our world? Normally around the field is corn. We are here May 1st, so it's a little early for full grown corn. I had watched this movie years ago. When I knew we were going to the Field of Dreams, I went ahead and watched it again the night before. Being out on the field took me back to my childhood, throwing ball with my dad, and I think most of you guys out there can relate. We have an interesting fact for you also about tourism here at Field of Dreams. Yeah, they said up until last year when they had the uh, M MLB game that they used to have about 150,000 visitors. Last year they did 300,000, and this year that she said, what, 400,000? Yeah. So 400,000 visitors to here, it's incredible. I mean, it's renewed the Field of Dreams uh, tourism for sure. It's doubled it. She said a lot of people after going through the uh, Field of Dreams, they'll watch the movie again. Yep. On August 11th, 2022, they are playing the Field of Dreams game, and they are playing Chicago Cubs against my old team, the Cincinnati Reds. Pre-game is gonna be at 6.15 Central Time, and the first pitch is at 7.15. So everybody that's a fan of the Field of Dreams definitely wanna watch that game. The game is not actually being played on the actual uh, movie set field. Uh, MLB actually built a field next to it. So I started to film the tour for you, but as soon as we got just into the kitchen, they said, nope, no filming. Definitely take pictures. So I'm going to share some pictures with you, but it's about a 20 to 30 minute tour based on how many questions you might have. And you're going to hear stories about the home in its early days and the Lansing family. And you're also going to hear about the family that purchased the home afterwards and how they've taken care of it. When you're on this tour, you can only tour the first floor because the current residents still live upstairs and it has been definitely restored to appear as it did in the movie. It even has the iconic stove in it and the movie that they played in the movie is still playing on a TV while you're in there. It is free to tour this entire location unless you want to go into the house then you definitely have to pay the $20. We just went ahead and paid the $20 because it's worth it. it. It's the only money they really have on the upkeep of the place. Your tour guide is considered a ghost player so that's kind of a lot of fun. And I just found the name of the stove again. It's the Calvinator stove and it is still a working functioning stove and kitchen. Yeah, they got a lot of memorabilia set up in the house. It's not actually from the movie set, 
but it's actually for, about the movie, yeah. which was really neat. The house is kind of sitting up on a little bit of a hill, so you're overlooking the field. So every view of the house, even down the long porch, you're overlooking the field. So it is just, it's breathtaking. I just loved it a lot. Yeah, it's like a bucket list item for us. And I didn't think it would impact us as much as it did, but it did impact us because it's, you just feel the history when it, you're there. Yeah, it takes you back to your childhood. Like I said, they're on ball with your mom or dad. So we hope that you like this video. We hope that you check out the Major League Baseball game that they're going to be having on Thursday. So we're trying to bring you fun and different kind of content, things that we like. We hope that you will like as well. So please like this video, thumbs it up. Please subscribe. Please smash up that notification bell. Please comment. Yeah, give us your comments. Have you been to the Field of Dreams? Have you seen the movie? Yeah. And does it touch you in any way? And what is your favorite quote from the movie? Yeah. Let us know that too. So remember, we're ahead of swirls. Come travel in our incredible world.